so here we go. We are going to open this, whatever this is now. It'll probably end up being an unboxing video at some point. There's already a small rip, so I'm going to work from there. Oh, it is a Kickstarter. There we wow. go. I had no idea this had shipped. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be. So we have Valeria Card Kingdom's Shadow Veil, vale, the latest expansion Ooh, for Larry, Valeria Card Kingdom. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I turned off the light, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's in shrink. Anytime yeah. it's in shrink, it's bad. You just gotta, you just gotta get that right tip back angle, so the the glare goes up. There you go. This was shipping provided by Ship Naked, leading fulfillment provider for Kickstarter campaigns since 2012. That's oh, weird. I did not get. Oh, there's a nice too. sticker on it. Shows it's the Kickstarter invention. So here we go. We have another Valeria, but this goes to the Big Card Kingdoms, the one you played. Oh, okay. And it should be a full set of replacement cards, basically. Like a complete, you could replace every card in the base game oh, with the cards cool. in this. Or mix and match, right? Like oh. that was kind of the whole point. If I remember, this was a gift you bought me last year. Yes. It just took that long to show up. So this is a Christmas gift from 2017. <laughs> uh, come on. Probably not going to be a lot to see here. Instructions. And cards. Lots of cards. And cards. Yeah, that's why I haven't bothered doing any of these DC unboxings, because they're really not. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not going to be the most interesting thing you've ever seen. I'll still do it, though. Go through the cards quick. So one of the things here is it is a new artist. Completely oh, new fun. artist. That's I don't know a what... shame, right? I kind of yeah. love the... Uh, yeah, the, I'm uh, not sure what happened there. If there was a reason they got a new artist, if they were asked to get a new artist. What I see so far doesn't look bad. All right. So we have monsters. Actually, new art looks pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see how well I can hold that up. Hold it. Let the. Do I need to turn autofocus on or off? No, that looks good. Okay. So we have dire rats. We have crocodiles. And somehow I just minimized everything. <laughs> So I can't see what I'm doing. We got the Rat King. So this is obviously some kind of vermin. Oh, I like that many. Yeah, I like the art. It's definitely a little different than the original, but still solid art. Yeah. We'll skip ahead. Well, that's cool looking, though. That's no Wendigo I've ever seen. That Yeah, that doesn't say Wendigo to me, but it's, it's interesting. Wow, that's very dark looking. Okay, much darker art than the original. That's, oh. that's, that's almost Warhammer-ish. Yeah. So, a bunch of new monsters, whole stack here, significant stack of monsters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five new dungeons to explore, so five new types of monsters. See, Sean told me I'm not supposed to talk while I'm doing this part. That way you can speed it up later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it makes for lousy streaming content, but it's way easier on the... Uh... Way easier. All right. So here we have the new number one card, the Exorcist, who looks like a mix of One Punch Man and Mysterio. That's something you don't expect to, to match. But yeah, no, that's, that's a pretty accurate description. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, these are definitely different art style. Uh, Lumberjack is your new number two. Again, I'm not going to do all the cards, but I'll hold up some. So, yeah, you got a whole new set of numbers, right? A new number three What's and a new number seven? four. That's the important. Let's get to the seven. Let's all right. See. The new number five. Oh, I like the new peasant. The new peasant looks... That's a good peasant. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That says peasant all right. I like that. New knights, new peasants. Oh, the necromancer's got a whole necron thing going on. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Um... That's your seven. Oh, eight's the guardian, nine tens the dragoon. That's possibly that. That's getting very epic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. New art's not bad. No, no, it's not. It's it's a different style, but it's not a bad not a bad change. So yeah, a whole new set of citizens. Basically, you could replace all the citizens in the original full set from one to twelve. 
Of course, there are some doubles, right? There's 11 12s, 9 10s. Yep. Whole new set of citizens. Then we've got domains. There should be way more of these. That's it. Oh, okay, only five domains. I thought I remembered more domains in the original. Hmm. It's been a while since I played it. So you find new domains. Uh, this looks like it might be the same artist who did the, the backgrounds, like the, the landscapes. Right. Five domains. There, there's more than five domains. <laughs> this makes much Life more makes sense. so much more sense now. All right, so there. there we're going to show off more domains. I don't know how Sean's going to be able to cut this because we have the, the, the unboxing plus extra. So we have a whole bunch more domains. We got Hobbs End. I'll bring that one and get Hobbs. Sign that one. Jason Hobbs, sign my Hobbs End card. I do dig this art. I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah. this is the same guy. Yeah, those look yeah. similar. Yeah, it's just the characters. So again, just grabbing some random cards. Show them off. And then a whole bunch of exhausted cards. Oh, nice. So not only the exhausted cards, they use the event rules, which was from one of the expansions. Now your exhausted cards have stuff on the back. Right, right. So I don't know when you guys played if you used the event ones, but those were actually an expansion for the original. Yeah. So we, now when one of your decks is exhausted, of, you're going to flip it over and something's going to happen. Yeah. Now these are kind of boring. Uh, a bunch of expansion stuff mixed uh, in that kind of got yeah. like, weird. Weird. <laughs> and then of course we have new dukes. Are they are they horribly broken too? I don't know, but I'm not a fan of the art on these. It still looks like it's by set, so they didn't fix their uh, English. Oh, great. But yeah, not, I gotta say, not a fan of this comic book style art. Uh, to turn that, we're getting a lot of glare still. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's just really, yeah, okay. Mm. No, not a fan. Yeah, I gotta say, it's not, not nope. a. Nope, that, those don't work as well at all. No, not a big fan of these new Dukes. No, I could leave those. And I don't know if they're broken, but they do have the same bottom where you're going to get for all your resources. Dividers. I'm not going to bother opening those. So some of this is brand new, um, which I think is this, the relics. So this is the Kickstarter new thing. So it comes in its own little separate bag. They seem to like these color-coded rule summary cards. So there is a new rule summary card. And a divider just for the relics. And then the relics are obviously some type of items. I have no idea the rules on these. Uh, again, solid art. I don't know if they're, each player gets one of these or something. Because that's obviously a game-breaking rule. Yeah. So again, I'll flip through a few. All of these are as an action, do something. Every single one says that. So I don't know if this may be an asymmetric start. Everyone gets a gets a relic. Or there's some other way to get them. And then there is an expansion for an expansion. There is a new card to go with the Undead Samurai, which was a previous Kickstarter. So you get the unique monster. It's a new... It's sleeved, so... We'll pull, is it sleeved or bagged? It's in there some way. I can't seem to get it out. I see the plastic opening thingy. Yeah, the Come cigarette on. wrappers on uh, DC card packs are useless. Oh, I just give up. I just oh. use an exacto. Sorry, a hobby knife. All right, there it is. This is the the new Undead Samurai. Goes with the original Undead Samurai expansion. You toss it in. New monster. Undead Samurai is a neat one because you can mix it in with the other cards to use as events, or you can use it as one of the monster stacks. Never use it as a monster stack. It's much cooler the other way. So that's it. That's everything in Valeria Card Kingdom Shadow Veil. Vale. Note this is not standalone. Even though it replaces all the cards of the original, it does not give you enough to play. You don't get the components. It doesn't even give you a full rule book. It just talks about the new stuff. There was a way when you back the Kickstarter to get a big box version, which I didn't need because I have the original game. So there we go, Valeria Card Kingdom Shadow Veil vale expansion. Hot in from Kickstarter. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what's Kickstarter exclusive, what's not. You know the pile of shame number just went up, right? Oh, yeah. So we can put the pile of shame number up one now since... <laughs> there it is. We are just adding that's going to mess up people who tune into the next podcast because we did it in the after show. Oh, well. That's why you stick around and catch all the content. There you go. So cool. Not what I thought it was going to be. 
heavy for a bunch of cards. Yeah, I should remember to mention it. The number went up one because we got this. Go watch. Yeah, we'll try to remember it the next episode. Yeah. Uh, then I got one more. This one, I know what it is. This probably isn't going to be that exciting. This doesn't affect the pile of shame. We talked about bad rule book, no problem. And sometimes you should go to the publisher's website. Well, if you own Conan, you should do that. Because if you go and tell them you bought the original copy of the game, they will send you the new revised rule books. Because the rule, book because the rule books bad. are that bad that the publisher reprinted them. These were sent to me for free. So hat tip Asmodee for realizing, for one, that your rule book was garbage. And two, for sending me replacement copies free of charge. So unlike so now, in the universe, you can play Conan now. Yes, I can play Conan now. To be honest, I didn't even give it a try. I just read everywhere that the rule book was terrible, that there was a PDF copy. So we do have the original... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play this. Mike Murphy's trying to convince me to play this. But right now it's holding up the pile of shame. So if I... And I like the amusing bit that Conan's holding up the pile of shame. Of course, of course. And if I remove it, I have to go down to one stack instead of two because it won't fit because it's a big box. So yes, we finally have the revised rule book. I... They're, supposedly this is one of the biggest things. Clarifications on what all the skill icons mean. This is a meaty miniature game. It's a co-op. Someone plays Conan. Someone plays uh, some of the other heroes. Dudes on a map. Miniatures. Doing heroic things. Looks pretty cool. I did not have the Kickstarter version. I just have the original. Bought the game when it came out. The Kickstarter came with something like 300 more miniatures. It was nuts. That's insane. Yeah, it was one of the crazy ones that I didn't back because it was too much money. So there you go.